Hey everyone, Dan here and on today's video I want to talk about this idea of success and the fear around success. Hear me out, okay? So I think a lot of creatives, a lot of videographers have an underlying fear of success. Not a fear of failure, a fear of success. I see this time and time again where I see video businesses become very successful commercially and sometimes they can be a little reluctant to share that success or reluctant to show that success because the peer group that we tend to focus on is the one we've grown up with. And that peer group in the video space and in lots of Facebook groups can be one of, you know, getting by, struggling in certain months. And so when you become successful, what you're actually doing is pushing your head above the parapet. And in many ways, you are separating yourself from where you might feel comfortable. And so I want to address this idea of fear around failure and fear around success in today's video. I've experienced both myself, and I think it's very closely related to the idea of abundance versus scarcity. Uh, and the abundance versus scarcity uh, concept it, it exists in all of us, and it's typically created from childhood. Uh, whether, you know, I grew up in quite a working class family, we didn't have a lot of money, there was lots of love, but there wasn't a lot of cash. And so sometimes conversations would always revolve around money and the lack of money and pointing at other people saying, well, they're okay because they're rich, but, you know, I don't know what they do for a living. It seems a bit dodgy. There's always conversations about the idea that if you're making money, that's bad. And, and in cartoons, the bad guys are always the fat, criminals with bags of money on their backs. So I think there's a, a real sense that psychologically making money is somehow seen as a negative thing. Unless, of course, you grew up in an environment where there was a lot of money, a lot of success, a lot of abundance, and therefore um, it was just commonplace to be abundant. So if we take that concept and we think about um, success, you know, why are you running a business? A lot of people run a business because they love being a filmmaker and then through that they start earning money as a filmmaker and then they realise they can give up their day job and become a full-time filmmaker. But there comes a point where there's a, there's a line where it feels like you're crossing over into commerce and not art. And I think that part can be very challenging for a lot of people, no matter if they admit it or not. And I think as filmmakers, as videographers, we put a lot of emphasis on how we are perceived by our peer group. And so I want you to think about that. You know, how do you limit yourself in your potential because you have a nagging doubt that if you get successful, you'll alienate yourself from, from your colleagues. So I want to jump on the computer now and share some things with you and show you some kind of results some of my members are getting and then talk a bit more about what that can mean for you. So I'm going to show you some things here, which, which may trigger you. And I'm doing this deliberately. So be very aware of how you respond and react to what I'm going to show you. Because I think this will have some impact on determining whether or not you are in fact scared of success. So this is me on an Airbus A380, somewhere over Bulgaria, having a shower in first class. Did it in 2016, phenomenal experience. Um, there are two shower suites at the very front of an Airbus A380 with 500 passengers, and you get 20 minutes in each. And I was on my way to uh, IBC to help launch the FS5 on this occasion. So, so how do these make you feel? That's me sitting in seat 1E, on, on an Airbus A380. It's so big, you can put your feet up. My luggage was underneath in front. It's an incredible experience. But I want you to think about what's going on in your subconscious right now. What are you thinking? Are you thinking, Dan, why are you showing us these? Why are you showing off? Why are you flashing this around in our face? Or are you thinking, wow, Dan is a cameraman and he's built a business that now means he can fly first class. What's he doing differently? Here's some other examples. My wife and I on our wedding anniversary, we took a hot air balloon up over the Gold Coast. Um, 
success has meant we get to have a lot of fun together and we have an opportunity to 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 really cement a really gr- even better relationship um we've been together 16 years and this was our t- 11th year en- wedding a 10th year wedding anniversary um whenever we go away anywhere we'd like to get in helicopters we love to fly this is on the great barrier reef in australia we'd f- gone out there on a boat uh, swam around on, on the ocean uh, with all the kind of fishes and the sharks and everything and then we got a helicopter transfer back to land so this is stuff that anyone can do on holiday, but they're they're generally at the kind of premium end of of excursions, and we pretty much go in helicopters everywhere we go. We absolutely love it, and we just in, we just invested in, in this camper van. It's a four berth, fully air conditioned, like you know, um, luxury camper van. We're going to use it to travel around Australia. So so success has allowed us to enjoy travel and freedom. And that's why I do what I do. I love working with people that I work with, but we do it because we love to travel. We love freedom. We love, we, the, we love the ability to, to choose what we do and when we do it. Um, I have got my kind of ideal dream office uh, with, you know, an incredibly custom made desk. Um, it's like this beautiful wood. It was all handmade. I've got a, a 65 or 75 inch 8K screen on the wall. I've been able to buy some nice branding. Everything's lit beautifully. I've got, you know, my Genelec 6040s uh, or 8040s uh, studio monitors. They're like $10,000 a pair. Um, but I love the sound that comes out of them. So when I'm working here, you'll see my chair is a, is a Herman Muller Aeron. It's the kind of upgraded version. So in my working environments, I have everything I want and need at my fingertips. I really like working there. That's my car. I have a Range Rover Velar. It's a $150,000 car, um, which is, you know, again, I, I'm, sh- I'm sharing these with you specifically to get a sense of how you respond and how you react when you see them. I want you to observe that feeling because if this inspires you, then you're my kind of people. But if you are turned off by this, if you think I'm showing off, if you think I am waving it around in front of you, then there's something going on in your subconscious which tells me you're scared of success. I love this car. It's beautiful to drive. I think it looks phenomenal. And it's a real treat every time I get into it. And when I got this car, I felt more successful. And I started playing a bigger game in my life and in my business. Um, and so this is why I think it's important to share these things because oftentimes people kind of shy away from sharing their success. And I want to show you that abundance and success is infectious. This is us, uh, same weekend of our wedding anniversary, we went and stayed down at the Palazzo Versace on the Gold Coast. Um, for those of you in the UK, it's where all the celebrities stay when they do the I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here show. Um, we had a cabana, we, we just hung out and just had a lovely day by the pool. We actually spent four or five nights there. Again, how does this make you feel? And now, th- this may not be how you would choose to spend your time, but I'm sharing how we spend our time when we're, when we're relaxing. Um, so you've got a choice. And, and I love airplane analogies. The choice is, you know, we've all flown an economy, but I can tell you that first class is way better. And premium economy and business, everything is an upgrade. But I think it, it, it all has to do with the lens from which you look through life in. Because if you have a scarcity mindset, one that that doesn't focus on growth and what's, what's possible and potential, you end up sitting in economy for the rest of your life, just going, well, I can't. Um, whereas if you want more, you have to change the lens at which you look th- through things at. Um, I love the lens analogy because as filmmakers, we understand it. As a filmmaker, when we film a scene, there's so much we can capture. But we we choose a particular focal length so we can hone in on the area that we want the audience to see. So what I want you to think about is how are you currently viewing your world and success? So it's an interesting topic, this, isn't it? Um, One that I've been acutely aware of and what I've learned about my own journey of success and abundance is sometimes you just need to lean in to the discomfort of, of what that thing is making you feel. 
and do it anyway. Because I can tell you that having success and a solid business and great cash flow and resources is much better on your mental health than not having it. And so you want to be very careful who you listen to and where you're allowing yourself to be influenced because there's a danger if you're trying to remain in the popular group in your mind that you might be shortchanging yourself in your business. And as someone who's experienced lots of extremes in business, having money and having success, working with people you love and having a great reward is definitely the preferable situation to be in. So let me know in the comments below, is this something that resonates with you? Is this something that you've experienced? And, um, and let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, please thumbs down. And if you didn't care, then it's up to you what you do, I suppose. Um, but please hit the subscribe button to get more content like this. And thanks for watching.